Hi guys, video reply time. I've done quite a few videos where I've been collecting these vapes, picking them up in the street and then stripping them down to get the batteries out of them. And I've had a few comments about what can we do with the bits that are inside. Um, all I'm really interested in is the battery itself. But inside you have got a heater element and you've also got in this particular one you've actually got a charging circuit and that little round bit there is the sensor that can tell when you're actually sucking inhaling uh, when you inhale it detects that and turns on the heater element the heater element then heats up the liquid so you get your vape now some of the comments I've had is, can we do anything with that heater element? Could we possibly run a pop-pop boat with it? Uh, to do that, we'd need to turn the water to steam. Uh, we'd have to turn quite a bit of water to steam. Not a lot, not like that, but certainly a, a spoonful, which is far more than you're actually heating up in the vape. All you're heating up in the vape is... Um, you've got a bit of foam around here that's full of the liquid and then you've got this sort of fluffy stuff that is a wick that soaks the liquid up and transports it in to that heater element that's just coiled around it. In fact, if I just pull this the right way, we might be able to get that one out so we can see it a bit closer. Doesn't want to come out. Oh, there we go. Got it. So that is the heater element. It's just a coil of wire. Uh, focus would help. Focus. There we go. So it's just a coil of wire wrapped around that bit of wick. And the wick soaks the liquid out of the foam that's normally wrapped around there. So the question is, can we get that to boil water? And the answer is probably no. I don't know if we can just get that off. I'll probably have to uncoil it. Um, Right, so if we wanted it to boil water, then that coil would obviously have to heat up and boil the water. Now, to see if we can get it to work, what I've done is this one, I've actually charged it up. So that battery is now fully charged. It's not one that's just come out of a um, discharged, discarded vape. It's freshly charged. And as I said, normally there's a little thing on the end here that detects when you're inhaling, a little circular thing, and that would connect the positive to that blue wire. The black wire is the negative, and it's already got one side of that coil connected to the negative. The other side goes to that blue wire, and when the little circuit turns on, it connects the positive to that blue wire. If I just strip that off a little bit, if I can, yep, there we go. Right, what I'm going to do is put that in the water and then touch that wire onto the positive. See what happens. Not a lot. Let's take it out of the water. Oh, there we go. So it got hot. We're not even making the water bubble. If I lift it out, it'll start to get hot, yeah. So, um, I mean, I suppose if you got sort of a dozen of these and connected them all together, 
but we're really not doing very much there. So as soon as I lift it out of the water, you can see it gets red hot. But in the water, it's not starting it to bubble or steam or anything. I'll just lift it out and let it burn itself out, I think. Oh. oh, it hasn't burned itself out. It's in the water. Not a lot happening. Out of the water. Red hot. So, um, yeah, there you go. I don't think... Oh, that doesn't even feel warm, but obviously that's a big reservoir of cold water. If we used a tiny little teaspoonful, then there's less for it to try and heat up. Uh, I wonder if I could do that. Let's see if I can find a teaspoon. Better still, a plastic teaspoon. Right, so let's see if we can heat that up. I suspect the battery will probably catch fire in my fingers because we're basically just shorting it out. Ah, it's warm, not hot, warm. I'll get me um, thermometer. Right, let's start this again. I've got my thermometer. Can we see that at all? 20 degrees, point it at that water, 18 or 19. Point it at that water, 25 degrees. So we have heated it. Let's do that again. So, can you see that? Just about. Twenty point eight. Twenty point six. Yeah, 20.6. So we'll put the heating element in it. And remember, we're trying to get this up to boiling water. Twenty nine, thirty one, thirty two, thirty three. I don't know if we can see that. Oh, it's dropping down as soon as I. I thought there was a button that locked it. Does that unlock it? Let's do that again. Thirty six. Hold that button in on the back. Yeah. I don't know if we can see that. Heated it up to 36.5. So, yeah, we need to get to 100 degrees, so we're nowhere near that. So, the answer to the question of can we use it to run a pop pop boat, I think the honest answer is no. I think even if you put a whole load of them together and ran quite a lot of voltage through there, you probably still wouldn't actually get it boiling. 
Let's just see if it burns itself out. Well, no, it seems to be surviving. We won't get hold of it to find out. We'll just sort of do that a bit so we're getting a bit close together. Yeah, I don't think we're going to get the water boiling with that. But we did heat it. So if you just want to heat it a bit. Well, it does go up to about 36. It's cooling down again now. Yeah, it's going up and down. About 35 I got it up to that time. But nowhere near 100. Thanks for watching. If you want more information, check down below in the video description. If you like this video, you might like this one up here. And if you want to subscribe, you can check out my channel over here. Up here is my latest video on my channel. And down here is a video playlist associated with the video you've just watched. Thanks again for watching.